Good evening. I have a brief statement I'd like to read to you. Now, there seems to be a lot of candidates out there who are trying to lay claim to my legacy, a legacy that includes uh, the Contras, uh, the homeless, air traffic controllers, Judge Kalia, ketchup, and, and so forth. Now, the one guy who appears to invoke my name more than the rest of the GOP field is that fellow with the white streaks in his hair and mean streak in his heart. That, of course, is John McCain. Well, Senator, I got news for you. I paid the price for this microphone, and the price wasn't exactly, well, in earthly dollars. In fact, word is I'll be making amends for several eternities now just to atone for some of the things I did when I was a, a, a mere mortal. Fortunately, I have finally mellowed out. And Senator, I suggest you do the same. Mellow out or stop using my good name. In other words, Mr. McCain, tear down those nasty ads and quit loitering around my gravesite. Gives me the creeps. You'll be joining me soon enough. And unless you wise up, what's in store for you makes a Vietnamese prison camp look like Club Med. I can assure you, my friend, that warmongers don't fare well in this environment where I now reside. That is why it is hard for me to believe that you want to keep the boys pinned down in Iraq for up to what you say a hundred years, which is nearly a century. Well, it's quite obvious that you, my friend, are no student of history. Nobody ever wins in that part of the world. Okay? I learned my lesson the hard way back in 1982 when they blew up the Marines barrack. Remember that? I acted quickly and got the hell out of there. Now, I've heard you use the term God's children over and over again during these debates, but only as it relates to our hard-working friends from across the border, down south, you know, who's land was stolen by us in 1837. Well, what about those Iraqi civilians? Are they not God's children? I don't understand how you can invoke my name and in the same breath ballyhoo the so-called surge, which you say and insist is working. It's working all right for the undertakers. Now get your head out of General Petraeus's butt and uh, get some objective info. Turn off Fox News and go someplace else. It's out there. I mean, go online and read the Huffington Post or watch Countdown with Keith Oberman. They know what they're talking about. Just the facts, my friend, just the facts. And another thing, Senator McCain, I'm a bit uncomfortable with that famous Sonny Corleone temper of yours. It makes my skin crawl. The, thought of you being anywhere near the doomsday button in the White House, especially after you've had a few martinis or shots of tequila. And the name calling has got to stop. I'll tell you, not only do you look like Don Rickles, but you sound like him too. So now that I finally have the wisdom of the ages on my side, I have just one little piece of advice for the American people. When any of these guys, especially John McCain, tells you that I'd support their candidacy, I want you to look at them straight in the eye and just say no. All right, maybe Ron Paul. He's okay in many respects. He's against the war. And then, of course, the acid test. I want you to ask yourself, are you better off now or are you safer now than you were before the Iraqi invasion. Well, I rest my case. Well, good night and good luck. <laughs>